All right, guys, another video today. We're going to do the Sand Badger start in Platinum AI lock-in. Um, just getting, trying to show you guys how I start, if I was going to start a lock-in unit, how I'm going to pick the role, if I'm starting with that unit, how I would build around it, etc. For the most part, um, you're going to want to try to counterbalance with another type of tank, another damage dealer to help out your Sand Badger. I think out of all of them, Sand Badgers may be the, the, the little the scariest for some people, um, as it's just not very good on some early game waves. What I'm going to do though here, I think, is I'll take Sand Badger for a tank. I've got Great Boar for late game tank, and I've got Zeus with Ranger. What I'll probably do is start Sand Badger just to show you guys how I'd start Sand Badger, but with the Pulverize and Hero being on the board, I think what I do here is pulverize a Zeus and go late game Zeus Boar. Pretty simple. Maybe reroll, hope I get something to help Zeus out. For the most part, though, we're going to start Badger. We're going to start it a little farther back just so I can do a more of a correct Zeus start um, here in the mid game, yes. even if it's just with Badger uh, and Ranger right away. We're going to do a king up. I don't think the bots are going to leak. They never do against me. Okay, so it did build, build a gargoyle. That's a pretty safe start. I should hold pretty easily next wave as well as... Um, I will leak maybe four. I should hold next wave unless they double double send me. But even if they send me next, I'm okay with leaking next. My teammate will hold for sure. I'm going to play for the three and four sends. I think next leaking next is completely fine. Uh, if they send me 40, I think I only leaked like 20%. It's, it's really small. Um, and I think we'll, we'll kind of go from there. I'm going to, I think, just go for something like either a Ranger or a Zooka to help me on three. I'm going to resend the Snail and the, the AI because I think... Oh, they hold. Okay, good. What do we get for value? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build a Zooka and a Ranger, I think, in preparation for something like... Um, Something like a uh, Zeus early. Because I'm, again, really strong next. I don't need to be too worried because my, my tank is extremely strong on wave 3. It's what I really need to worry about is wave 4. And that's where a Zeus or Daphne can be very, very strong. And I'm going to then also send on wave 4 into my guy. The AI went 5 worker as a pyro. That's good to know. So then where are we at? I'm going to build that there, and then build the ranger right beneath it. And then build a split with a mask. I think the mask has to be a little lower, though, obviously, because I'm not upgraded Zeus. But that's about right. If you look at the range, this is about a square down from the Zooka, which is, should be good. We get a brute here. I think I hold all but Brute on this send. I don't know, though. I would not advise Bruting into a... Um, into a Badger on 3. Unless you're really thinking the per person pushed hard. Because we're able now to push 2 off this, at least 1. But I think... Potentially 2. Yep, we just leaked the just leaked the brute. That's completely fine in my book. Leaking just brutes completely usable. Um, we're also pushing pretty hard here because I know I'm pretty sure going to be able to get my guy next. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get my guy next, and this is going to take a while. So I'm going to go a fiend for income because I'm going to try to make sure I have enough income to hold next wave. 
Um, if not next, at least... Um, I want to try to hold wave 5, which is my next weakest wave. You got to be careful a little bit with um, Sand Badger because it is kind of weak on 4. So a lot of times the resends can be punishing. I may have pushed a little too hard here, but we'll see what happens. I'm also not afraid of leaking a little early game because it allows you to push a little harder. You just need to make sure you're not leaking too much. You know, that's sub 50% leak. This should be a hold, if not hold close to it. Oh, but my bot leaked 80%. That's um, unfortunate. So we're going to take quite a bit of king damage here now. But I leaked their bot 67%. And their other bot also leaked. So... While it isn't great my bot leaked that much to a mole, um, we're not sitting too terribly. I'm going to try pushing here because I think I'll get another resend off and uh, we should get some good gold from the king damage. I'll get at least enough to get a Zeus next wave. What did he build? A consort. Okay. So we'll get a Zeus here. The Zeus up here um, is going to be good now for the next two waves, which is perfect. It allows me to push really hard. Um, and I think we'll probably get a resend here and six by the AI. And I think I'm going to try to send my full Mythium on six. My guy's really weak as well as the enemy is. And so I'm trying to go for a full send on six here. I'm going to push two now. Off of a 40 send. Now, you don't normally want to push 2 off 40, but I know I'm really strong next. And um, I'm overvalue already. So I think I have the ability to push a 40 here. He went Infiltrator. Bad on this wave, actually. It's kind of surprising. What I'm going to do, though, is try to... I think Brute him next. I think Brute's probably my play. What I'll do then is get the Brute, and then I'll upgrade my Mask Spirit here. So I have a little bit more damage for 7. And then what I'll probably do is either upgrade the Mask Spirit for 7, or upgrade the Ranger for 7. I'm not sure exactly which one I'm going to do yet, but um, both of those I think are, are solid options for my 7 game right now. Because the I already have a tank. I already have relatively good DPS on this wave. Uh, really good DPS on 6, actually. But, and then I'm going to start planning for 7. I don't get enough to send another 40 Mythium, so I'm going to send just a single Snail here, because I think I leak my guy here. And I'm probably going to push off this 40, uh, 20 send. Another worker. We're getting into scary territory a little bit by pushing here, but I think I'm relatively fine, and my teammate looks like he won't leak his hard now next. So we're sh sitting pretty. We're sitting pretty. And the question is, does my guy over here leak? Does not look like it. Looks like a hold to me, or if if not a hold, very close to it. Depends on RNG here. Take a little bit, but it looks like it's holding. Infiltrator is really good on this wave. So I'm going to send another unit here, just so I have enough value. I'm going to full build here because I am very undervalued as you guys can see. 75 under though with these units isn't terrible. What I really hope for is that they try to send me 8 and not here. If they send me here I'm going to be a little bit worse for wear. If they send me 8 I'm actually really solid because I'll be able to up my Daphne and then I'll get a um, Hellraiser buffed on 8. On eight. We'll see what they say and... Zero here. Perfect. They're sending me eight. Which is my stronger of the two waves. My think my thought process is I'm still good again tank wise for next. I need some damage, so probably Ranger, getting that upgraded. And then I might try to shift and make sure I can get a boar for seven. 
Or for nine, excuse me. Because I think I really need a boar for nine. My next play, I think, is going to be go nine. Because this AI is going to get shredded on nine, potentially. This long wave, though, definitely hurts my chances of holding next. I think he'll leak, but it's going to be a long wave. All right, hold, I think. I think he'll hold, but it's a long wave. Um, I got to send here now. No way I can get around it. I'm very under. I'm going to go up here. And we're going to go up here, maybe? This gives me enough pierce damage, I think, for the wave. Um, and then next, I'll be able to still buy the boar. Um, I think I'm a little worse off now 9, because I have to do this. What I will do instead, though, is I'm going to go ranger. I'm going to build this here so I block my um, Zeus. 180 cent. I'm glad I built like this, then. Block the Zeus. Keep things alive. Um, I got a bunch of damage now. Single and other. Wise. Single target and otherwise is what I'm trying to say. The question is, do I kill the brute? I do. And now, how does the Daphne work? Does it actually start killing things for me? Everything's low. Daphne should start being able to snipe everything. It does. Perfect. We're looking solid. Awesome. No problem whatsoever. My teammate, on the other hand, does leak. That's fine. We'll play around it. What we're going to do here is probably um, Brute and then DT. Brute and Dragon Turtle, I think, is my play on this wave. I might be able to get Double Brute. I won't get Double Brute in Income, I don't think, but I think maybe Double Brute might be better. Yep, I get Double Brute in Income. Sweet. Double Brute Income's awesome for me. My guy's really, really bad value here. So that's a huge up upgrade. Um, I think that will get targeted too early. So I think what I'm going to do is reroll. See if I get anything else that helps me here. Um, a Grawl on this wave is actually pretty darn solid. I don't think I need the Pilgrim. But the Radiant Halo does help. I don't think I need that though either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Grawl here. Because it gives me a little bit more flexibility. Um, and I'm going to send then a, a unit in the back to try to distract. Distraction of this, uh, serpent, I think is going to do something at least for us in terms of like delay value serpent while bad on this wave is still good damage. And you, if you can distract that damage for extended periods of time, you're looking pretty solid. The Brute did get um, damaged because of the magic runoff, right, the, from the buzz. But we get a 50% leak, which is still really good. And looking at this, I want 11 next. And I think 11 next is my play. I think 11 next is my play. Um, though I am bad on this wave in terms of value, we should be okay. Be able to get at least enough done. We might be able to get it. Might be able, a little behind. Might get leaked a little here, but I think we're sitting in an okay spot. So instead of doing this, I'm gonna place this guy down here and off him there, and then I'm gonna place just two units on the outside to try to protect these two units so they don't get killed. I need to try to sustain this wave in terms of damage, right? And so trying to keep these Zookas out here just so they, they tank a little bit. It's not much, but every second counts, right? Every second counts when you're trying to get something like a uh, a boss wave down. 60 resend, that's fine. We'll have Pulverize now. And I don't think in my role I had anything... Nope, nothing that really helps me more with... Um, with... Uh, the Zeus damage, so we're fine there. I'm going to push pretty hard off this, though, and the reason being is I've got Pulverize now for next, and I've got a pretty solid setup in um, 
in boar now. So we're going to pulverize. And we're going to pulverize one of these back ones so it always sustains a little longer. I'm going to sell my Grarl here and build a boar. And then we're going to just mask, a, mask like one or two masks up here in the corner to make sure I get that travel time like I talked about in my positioning video. You want to get that travel time to make sure boar gets some more damage. The longer you can make the boar move, the better for you, right? I'm going to build this a little differently, though, so I can get a Grarl buff on them, hypothetically. Hello. But uh, the reason why last wave I went more Daphne's and another Zeus is because I wanted damage for the boss wave. I didn't really need as much tank, remember? I just If you can out-damage the, the health, it doesn't really matter. Um... This wave, though, I need the boar because now the wave does a lot more pierce damage to all my other units. So they sent me 140. You'll notice that my Zeus's are in the very back of this. My masks go ahead, and then my Daphne's, and then my Zeus. So this setup right here where things kind of like cascade into uh, my Zeus's is kind of nice, especially for right now. I get better aggro early game. The Mastermind bot did leak. That's good. Um, we see he's very bad on these coming two waves, right? He's not very strong. I think we can maybe get him here this wave. If we get enough of a send to go after him again. I'll probably just dirt DT him again. Uh, I think that might be my play. Um, otherwise... Could also go imps, but I think DTs because I'm trying to scale at this point. I've got a really good composition to go into late game. So scaling is really where, um, where where I make my my bread. Pulverize last wave came in clutch though and, and stopped a couple of units, which is again why pulverize on something like Zeus or Daphne or any type of fast damaging unit is is really strong, solid, really strong and solid. That's also why, though, I go Pulverize, which is a defensive spell, right? You buff your units, make them stronger, because it allows me to push more. I'm now in a position where I can just continuously push, and I don't have to worry about the uh, the enemy on some of these waves because of that. I've also got good supporting units um, for my zoo Daphne combo. I think this this is a good example, though, of how sometimes just doing Sand Badger lock in can really open up worlds because now I already know I've always got I've always got an arcane tank. Um, arcane tanks are solid, right? Like it's just going to sustain you in a lot of waves in a lot of ways because of that. Um, and so arcane tank coming in clutch for me here. I got one guy to leak again. I think he's basically out of the game at this point. This bot's really behind. We're going to get another leak out of this guy, too. So both of them leaked. Sweet. That's king damage. It's guaranteed king damage. I'm going to do Dragon Turtle spam again. Because it's going to block any of his Orchid shots, and then everything else dies really quickly. And we cannot send any backline because of the Pulverize... Not the Pulverize, the uh, Serpent sitting back there. The Serpent's going to block us from sending backline units. This is where sending frontline, just a lot of frontline, can be sometimes helpful, too. We are pushed really hard as well, so I'm trying to like make sure we can sustain our push. Because as much as pushing is really good, if you can't actually hold your pushes, then you're kind of just SOL. So I'm going to go triple Zeus's here. The reason why is I'm good next wave. I've got great boars, I've got sand badgers, I've got tons of tank for next wave. If I up a boar, I'm looking really solid. But what I'm thinking is, is that if if uh, they go here, I need as much damage as I possibly can for the wave. We'll see if it pays off. 160 resend. This is also why I say check to make sure what your enemy has before you pick something like um, giant snails. Because look at how fast those giant snails just died. I ran into them once and all of them are almost shot. And because of Pulverize, these barely are doing any damage. Because I'm just Pulverizing it constantly. Uh, pulverizing, a unit, pulverizing a unit constantly. Um, I guess I said, I think... Yellow's out of it, and I'm just going to punish. I'm not going to save or anything, because Yellow's just going to continuously leak for me. And if that's the case, I want to keep sending him. 
I'm just gaining income. We're gaining extra value. Every leak he gives me is extra money in my pocket. So this is a situation where feeding, feeding late game can actually be really, really impressive in how it like scales you. Because right now, this is when I've got the most workers. So every wave sending is, is giving me massive amounts of income. I'm almost 400 income now before wave 13 ends. Which is massive. 402 income now. And what I'll do here is probably shift this gold. I need something that helps me out next wave a little bit in terms of tankiness. And I'd like to get a second boar or something of the sort to help me out. I should hold this wave. I've got a really good strong unit in boar. A pretty solid unit in um, badger. What I will do though is I'll probably just place this extra bazooka. Make sure I've got it in, in the correct spot. How's my teammate doing? My teammate's 275 over. So I'm looking really good here. Looking really, really good here. Yep, zero sent onto me because the bot knows I'm strong. So what I'm gonna do here is probably drop another great boar and make it pulverize, and make it slam into the wave. Yellow's dying again, and I don't think cyan is, is holding very well, if any. I'm just going to continue to send Dragon Turtles. Continue to, to wear down on the damage of the wave. I think Cyan does hold, but it's very close. So very little any, to anything in the mid to really stop me now. Just a single fire elemental worth 1,000 health or so. That's pretty easy to bowl through. There we go. I'm going to continue to send Dragon Turtles because the Orchids here, as well as a lot of the damage dealers on the wave, and any of his tanks are all getting targeted by it and affected. The biggest thing right now is you're almost negating, right? Like when you're sending orchid, uh, sending Dragon Turtles into Orchids and um, Green Devils, etc., you're basically negating any shuriken throws as well as making it harder for them to deal damage to the wave. This wave is the one I'm a little bit more scared of, and I might actually leak here. But again, my teammate's pretty close to value. He's pretty good actually on this wave. Like, I'm not super worried. Didn't even throw shurikens, but still, it blocks the, the orchids from dealing damage for an extended period of time. And you'll see just how fast these Zeus's are able to just mow down this wave. Um, especially along with uh, Daphne's being able to deal so much damage. We can just obliterate most anything early game to mid game and into late game because this tank is just super strong. Yellow died again. Uh, looks like Cyan is not holding. If so, very close. My bot does leak, but that's fine. We do get a relatively big leak out of both of them. Um, I'm going to continue to punish yellow, because yellow, I think, is still pushing. So I'm just going to continue to send. At this point, I probably could send something like a pack leader. Probably looking at something like Pack Leader. This will not kill them. I'm just going to wait. Get a Pack Leader after income. Build another boar. Build another boar. Push the remaining. I'm going to be solid here. The boar's going to do a ton of dam damage. We're looking at going for a kill shot, I think. Um, Cyan's not bad here. Uh, if if the sovereign was was actually getting out, but uh, it looks like sovereign's not going to get out here. Get up, I should say here, up to completely damage dealing wise. Um, full mana, full mana bar is what I'm really getting after. It doesn't get its special ability, doesn't get the bonk. Two twenty recent. Ooh, they placed a boar just in a suboptimal spot. That's okay. 
They did sure can spam us, so that's another reason why we've been dropping so many, so many DTs. Sure can spam does get stopped by DT spam. We are not even close to leaking here. We can basically just push as hard as we want. Though I do think the game ends here or next. We're going to push even hard. I think we can push even more here. With all the uh, leak here coming in, we're really strong next wave. I have no reason to believe we're going to die next wave. I'm just going to keep pushing. Yes. The other thing with this boar is it causes I think these these uh, backline to not die and kill everything. I should say. We win here. Ooh, very close. Very very close. Hmm. We could, I'm just going to send here. It's fine. Do I ruin some... I'm just going to crack him. I'm going to crack him. This is not the optimal send. I just like to do it as a, as a fun time. Kraken, though, will soak up a ton of the red eyes damage as well as the orchids. If things go in my favor. Let's go. Because the, uh, oh, nope, ooh, didn't work. But look at all these shurikens, just, they're going to kill the Kraken, but the Kraken basically just soaked up 500 gold worth of, of, uh, of unit. Like, it, it's just, it's nuts, it delays them so long, and he's still leaking. They both look like they're leaking, this is game. They had boars, but it wasn't enough because the bot didn't utilize them correctly. My teammate, my mate's bot died, but it was kind of all for naught. I'm super far ahead. I have a good roll, and I'll I'll actually catch this here. I don't think any of this reaches king. No, none of this would reach king. I'm going to kill it all before they even die. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you transition from badger into Zeus into boar. Um, I mean, that, that for the most part was uh, basically in, in every one of these videos, I feel like I start with a unit, but then I transition out of them, which shows you the versatility of being able to like flexibly drop in other units, right? I seen that I saw that I was probably going to get send here, built around the potential send here, and then continued to build around that, that unit, right? The badger as my tank is super important, and it helped me a ton in catching waves like eight because that badger is super strong. Super strong as an arcane tank. It may not necessarily help you on 9 or 5 or 6, but that early game comfortability with something that's going to help you on 7 and 8 allows you to push all your resources into things that are good on 5, 6, etc. Um, but I hope the, you guys found this helpful. If so, give me a like on the YouTube video. Uh, comment below on things you would do differently. Um, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Otherwise, uh, hope to see you guys next time. Peace.